Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm very happy you're again with us. If you want to know what the internet computer is, you are watching the right video. Did you know that it's the world's first blockchain running at the speed of the internet with unlimited bandwidth? Just recently, the network was moved to fully open mode, a giant leap for blockchain and the internet ecosystem. In this video, we explain in plain language how it works and why the internet blockchain is now leading the way for cryptocurrencies. And we will also tell you a few secrets that will be useful to you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us your like. So let's start. The internet computer is the world's first blockchain operating at the speed of the internet with unlimited bandwidth. Bitcoin created an immutable ledger, Ethereum developed smart contracts and pioneered DeFi. The internet computer is the third major blockchain innovation, a blockchain computer that scales smart contracts, computation and data runs it at internet speeds, processes and stores data efficiently and provides developers with powerful software environments. By making this possible, the internet computer allows a complete thinking of how systems and services work. On May 7th, the Definity Foundation held an event to launch Mercury Genesis at Internet Computer, bringing the network into a full open-source mode, a joint leap for blockchain and the Internet ecosystem. Definity founder and chief scientist Dominic Williams and members of the Foundation's research staff explained the new cryptography and architecture that enables Internet computers to extend the functionality of the global Internet to host software, turning it into a public computing platform that empowers developers and entrepreneurs around the world. On May the 10th, after five years of intensive research and development, the Definity Foundation released the source code for Internet Computer. The source code includes technical developments, new protocol mathematics, and cryptography. This important release reflects the Definity Foundation's vision of making the code accessible and understandable, inviting the development community to explore and test it. One of the elements that make ICP unique is the network nervous system, which is responsible for controlling, configuring, and managing the network. Data centers join the network by applying to NNS, which is responsible for setting up data centers. Although the NNS itself has an open control system, it controls permissions to participate in the network. In a sense, it plays a role equivalent to ICANN on the Internet, which, among other things, assigns autonomous system numbers to those who want to use BGP. E routers. NNS performs a wide range of network management roles, including monitoring host machines to look for statistical anomalies in the Internet computer network that may indicate poor performance or improper behavior. NNS also plays a key role in the token economy of the network. NNS generates new ICP tokens to reward data center driving nodes and voting neurons in the NNS, and this is how it makes decisions on the proposals that are submitted to it. When NNS creates new ICP tokens, to reward data centers and neurons, it causes inflation. Eventually, data center and neuron owners can take their tokens and exchange them with container owners and managers. Canister owners and managers take those tokens, convert them to cycles, and use those cycles to charge their containers. When these containers perform calculations or store memory, for example, they burn their way through cycles and eventually they need to be recharged with additional cycles to keep running. This is the flash rate. To understand the internet computer, you must understand the concept of subnets, which are the fundamental building block of the entire network. A subnet is responsible for hosting a separate subset of software drives hosted on the internet computer network. A subnet is created by combining node machines that are taken from different data centers in a manner controlled by NNS. These node machines communicate via ICP to symmetrically replicate data and computation related to the software drives they host. NNS aggregates nodes from independent data centers when building subnets. This allows the ICP protocol math to ensure that subnets are tamper-proof and unstoppable using Byzantine fault-tolerant technology and cryptography developed by Definity. Although subnets are the basic building blocks of the entire internet computer network, they are transparent to users and software. The internet computer also provides subnet transparency in other ways. The NNS can divide and merge subnets, for example, to balance the load across the entire network. It is also transparent for hosted containers. When you load your canister into an internet computer, you have to choose a specific type of subnet. There is actually a specific subnet that hosts the NNS, but you cannot load your canister there. 
Instead, you must choose a subnet type such as data, system, or fiduciary. An internet ID is required to log into the NSS application. If you do not have an internet ID, you must first create one. Specifically, logging into NNS with your internet ID will give